Hey, this is Rick again, Bike Fitness Coach. Wanted to go over the cup and cone bearing technology. So for example, here is a Dura-Ace wheel F9000. That's the front hub for the Dura-Ace wheel. You'll need three tools, 15 millimeter uh, hub, hub wrench, a uh, five millimeter hex wrench. And on this hub, you'll notice that there is a flat spot on one side here. This is the fixed side. This is the adjustment side. So to get this apart, we'll put the cone wrench in. Unscrew the lock on the left side. This is the locking screw. This is where the skewer goes through, the quick release skewer. Set that aside here. Now you're done with this. Now they have a locking tab here that was added uh, on the 9000 series, the 7800, 7900 didn't have this so what how this worked before was you left the bearings a little bit loose so there was a little bit of play when you put the quick release on and then put the wheel in the fork and clinch down on the quick release that tightened it up the last bit um, so that required you to adjust to take this whole thing apart and adjust it so they felt it easier to just put a locking ring on, which now holds it in place. So when you, no matter how much pressure you put on the quick release, it's not going to put any more preload on the bearings. So again, this is the locking mechanism. This is the other locking threaded unit. This whole thing is called a threaded unit. This is actually the this is a cup and cone technology. So this is the cone, and you can see right here, this surface right here is actually the race right here that the bearings roll on. In fact, right here, the bearings roll on here. You can, uh, we'll get to the bearings in a second. So now this hub unit will slide out the axle. So on the axle, you notice the one side here is fixed. You can see the cone right here, which is the same cone as this. The other side bearings run on this side. They get the rest of it out. There is a dust seal right here, and you can start seeing the bearings right here. So it pops out. You notice there's a, there's a metallic or Teflon coating on this side. So if the bearings run up against it, there's little friction, friction, very little friction lost. This thing is encased in rubber. So this is all of the seal to keep all the dust, dirt, and debris out. And here, now we can see the bearings, we'll get the balls, we'll get that in a second. And here, the inside of the hub, this part here is the inner race. This is the cup right here where the bearings roll on. You can see that shiny part. That's the cup. And again, this is the cone. So the bearings roll between these two parts. What's interesting with this is that this is the ball retainer. These are the 532nd balls, and it's uh, even to the new R9200 wheels, they still use the same technology. A little bit different because it's a through axle versus a quick release, but basically the same cup and cone. What's nice about these is you can actually push the bearings, pop the balls out, and replace them which if you look at these, these are silica nitride ceramic. These wheels were the test wheels I referred to in a different uh, video. There's uh, 25,000 miles of wear 
on these wheels and you can see that the surface is still highly polished. So these uh, very high quality metal Shimano uses in their machining. So basically the other side is the same as here. This is taken apart. There's the cup cone again. And basically you would pop this side out, pull the bearings, clean everything up, put new balls in if you need to. This goes back together. And we put the, so you can see where they roll on the inside here. Take this out so you can see. They fit right in here. The seal goes in, snaps in, there we go, and the, this part you can see is rubber, this is the in, internal seal, back together, the cone goes on. little tight very little play very little play now this side you notice that there's a larger flat spot and a smaller flat spot the larger part of the flat of the uh, key there's a larger smaller so this goes on you got to kind of hold this together so that it doesn't adjust readjust it is snaps on and then this part the locking mechanism goes on there you go that is the shimano durace cup and cone technology in the next video we'll get into the uh, dt swiss hub which is a roller bearing or a deep groove bearing, which basically um, is like the bottom bracket bearings we discussed in a previous video. So stay tuned for part two.